Hello everyone, it's Kathy with Paper Phenomenon. I'm here to talk about monographs. This is video number three. I will have one more video for you all. So in case you don't know, a monograph is a detailed written study of a single specialized subject or aspect of it. All right, so I took that concept and I came up with these that you see right here. All right, so these are going to be single subjects of whatever event, day, day out, whatever you did that you took pictures of. You're going to be able to record those memories or keep those memories in one one con uh, container, if you will. All right, and that's what these are all about. So if you looked at my previous, if you watch my previous videos, you will see that I did a series five different styles of the monographs and I said to you all that I was going to do them for you in the 4 by 6 the 5 by 7 and the 8 by 10 so all five designs I resize them all to accommodate 4 by 6 photos and below 5 by 7 photos and below 8 by 10 photos and below so this is style one. I went ahead and I decorated these all for you. I showed you this one here in the first set of videos. So let me show you the five by seven, which is adorable. So this one is featuring the my sister, Tasha. But the paper collection is Glitter Girl, which is adorable. Coincidentally, I have a kit available for this paper collection and all the goodies that you see here in my shop right now, which is paperphenomenon.com. So look at this, how absolutely adorable. Five by seven photo for you here, guys. It's a cute little charm, some super cute embellishments, and that's what I did on the back. So I attached this charm with a shank button all right, so that's what that is right there. And I, I, show, I show how to do this. Mm, I may have to do it again because it's in one of my super older videos. If I'm not mistaken, it's in my envelope mini album tutorial. But anyway, I digress. So super cute embellishments here. But we, what I want to show you here is the storytelling aspect of the monographs concept. So when you open this up, you're going to get a spread where you can actually tell the story, all right, of a single subject. This particular one is about my sister and her selfies, my sister's children and their selfies. Uh, these, these are Snapchat uh, pictures. I'm sure many of you are familiar with that. They are in your phone and that's it. But look at how cute when you take them out of your phone. How absolutely adorable. These are once again all in the five by sevens. It's my sister again with beautiful her beautiful daughter and her son, my nephew Noah. Just beautiful and so cute and so much fun. So I did some uh, pull some photo mats with the little tab and I use the let's see this tab punch board by We Are Memory Keepers, which coincidentally is in my shop as well. And I have this 30% off. I got a really good deal on this, guys, and I'm passing it along to you. If you go to my shop and it's not there, it's because I sold out, all right? So again, I got a really good deal on those punch boards, so I want to go went ahead and pass the savings on along to you. So five by seven photos in here. Just really, really cute. This paper is adorable and you can record these, you know, these memories that you have on a daily basis that do not necessarily fit in a mini album that you want to put somewhere, but you don't, do not know exactly what format this is it. Uh, here I have some three by four cards. You, I wanted to show you, I did another five by seven here that five by sevens fit in every single pocket all right so look at that how darling is that photo all uh, five by seven and below okay look at how cute this is this is what I love about teeny tiny photos you can make super cute things like this how fun is this to look at with pictures in it and and journaling because a monograph again you have to write not just pictures and I'm telling people to journal and to write the story when I am the worst person I am so bad at journaling I just don't like doing it because I hate my handwriting but look at how cute Look at how cute that little teeny, teeny, tiny picture. If you're wondering how I got that little teeny, tiny picture, hang on one second. 
I print my photos with Shutterfly and I think uh, Dr. E, she moderates my class. I think she said this is the photo index. I forgot what it's called, but when you print with Shutterfly and perhaps every other printer, I just, I don't know because this is where I print, you get these little, like a, uh, a summary of all your photos. And these are the ones I use. They're, they're perfect for little things like this here and here. Or if you have one of those apps on your phone that you can collage your photos you can print those and and make small ones too but I didn't have to because they, it's done for me right here all right so this is the five by seven and again this is my sister and her family with their selfies and gorgeous super super gorgeous so let me show you how that translates to the eight by ten all right so this eight by ten is my mother-in-law's birthday I, you don't take a bazillion pictures for a birthday dinner or to uh, record a, a birthday where you just go out to dinner, hang out with the family, not necessarily this big to-do event. So you're going to see how fabulous. So I made this little booklet because I want her to put whatever, oh, that doesn't go there, put whatever picture she want in here. All right. I also did this just in case there's a picture that she wants to put in there. She can absolutely do that. But I started it for her. Okay look at the inside same exact format but for eight by tens and below I do not have any other project that accommodates a full eight by ten photo any other uh, I'm, I'm in terms of this format mini albums yes I have that accommodate eight by tens but in this particular format I do not and these do that for you you can do the 8 by 10 and it's just so so fabulous what I love about the 8 by 10 is that there's typically a lot of background noise all right where you can embellish and create these really nice looks which I love here, this is a five by seven photo map, but I used a four by six photo there and I was able to embellish around it. I also embellish right on the four by six photo. So if there's something you want to cover up, I wanted to cover up something back there. You can absolutely embellish on the photo. So again, for eight by tens and below, just like with the other one, you have, oh, let me show you here, the pockets, same exact pockets that fit the eight by 10 in every single pocket okay every single pocket every single pocket you can fit the 8 by 10 and as you can see over here here I just did a few uh, a 5 by 7 and a few 4 by 6's this just I want to demonstrate here that this is what happens we take Every day we take some snapshots of everyday moments, small events that we are, you know, that we want to capture the memories. And then what do we do with, you know, these, this uh, collection of 10 photos, right? So this is what you do with it, guys. You put it in one, of, you make a monograph. You put it in one of these uh, formats here. Look at this, how fabulous. All right. These are size for eight by 10 photos, of course, but I wanted to show you, you don't have to do the eight by 10 photo. You can do this here. She's shushing me. I, we were singing, we started singing happy birthday. And of course me with my big mouth, I started singing really loud, celebrating her birthday and <laughs> she shushed me. So just a cute memory, something that I could journal about, but I may have to do that on the computer because I hate my handwriting. So just fun times that um, not necessarily for a mini album, but you want to do something cute. You want to record the memories. So you do this here. Uh, this page here, I didn't, I, I didn't do anything with this because my mother-in-law loves coloring. So I figured she can color this page up, do, do her thing here. So I left that blank. I hit, I hit it with a few embellishments and that's it. So I think she would really enjoy that. All right. This paper collection, if you're wondering is, let me show you, let me show you, which I also have a kit for. You got to check out my shop. This one is simple life. All right. This is simple life by uh, it's a pebbles collection but it's a Jane Hadfield uh, uh, collection all right it's under the pebbles and American crafts umbrella but it's titled simple life by Jan 
Jan Hatfield. Jen Hatfield, excuse me. All right, so again, you can check out my website for all of the goodies. And that's it. So same exact style one. It's a little movement here. Style one in the eight by 10. All right, style one monograph in the five by seven, style one monograph in the four by six. Now let me show you a few of the other styles. Okay, so this one, oh, I think this is style, I don't know. I can't remember, but you'll see it in the in the tutorial, guys. So I showed you this one. I showed you the closure. This is the 4 by 6 size. Look at the 8 by 10. Yes, I resized it for the uh, 5 by 7, but I didn't decorate it. So what's the point in showing you that? So this one I did up a little different. I have lots of real estate in the front of this one. So I added a pocket and it's clear. All right, so that's an acetate pocket. It also has the pocket here. All right, this one has a magnet closure. Okay, and look at eight by 10, all of the goodies in here. Photos, this was, uh, we went to New York and these are the photos that I took with my family and it was just so much fun. And again, not a lot of pictures for this dinner that we went to, so perfect format for this. And I, I use this paper collection, which by the way, this is Heart and Hustle by Amy Tangerine. It is so fabulous. It's got these tigers in it and it's just so vibrant, so colorful. So this just reminds me of my family, wild, uh, just so brave and courageous. And this just translates to my family. So this is why I used it. This was amazing. And this is just a great depiction of who we are as people, strength, character, and just wild and ferocious. All right. So look at this beautiful picture of my hubby and I had to do the eight by 10. There is the beautiful paper. You can't, I can't get enough of this paper. Look at this paper here. Again, Hustle, Hustle and Heart by, uh, yep, here's what it's called. Hustle and Heart by uh, Amy Tangerine, and that is under the American Crafts umbrella. And then some four by sixes. Get that. You could do four by fours. You could do little collages of photos like this. I have some photos to print out, so that's where these are going to go. Here's another eight by ten. Great way to decorate on the photo with the eight by ten. I absolutely love that. Here is another space for an eight, spot for an eight by 10. But here, what I did was I took a five by seven size and I just, I made a small layout on there. If I wanna put just a small photo there and just create a little fun look, this is what I did with that photo mat. All right, so it doesn't have to be all eight by tens, but you do have that capability. And then just pin it there. Here I've got some fun little embellishments. There is the, let me just turn them around so you can see them. So I, I attached those with brads. I did a tab with the cardstock. And again, just for some movement and for some fun stuff. All right, this is cute if you're doing something for a kid just to take these die cuts and stick them to the end of the page. Just really cute. All right, and again, showcasing the paper. Look at that, how fun. Showcasing the paper because again, I have more photos to print and actually this goes like this. All right, and some more. Look at this wonderful layout I created here with the two four by six photos. But if you wanna do a five by seven, if you wanna do an eight by 10, absolutely. And again, lots of brads and, and movement in this one, a little interaction here, and these are stationary, and then some more photo mat opportunities because I do have more pictures to print. Again, look at this paper, just stunning. Hus ha Hustle and Heart by uh, Amy Tangerine, and it's just absolutely beautiful and gorgeous and so much fun, just lots of fun. This one is the magnet closure and that's the back of it. 
All right, so 8 by 10, and I, I apologize, I forgot what style this was, but you'll see it in the tutorial. And I'll link you all down below to your purchase options. And last one, I remember this one. This one is style 4. And look at how cute. This is the 4 by 6, and I showed you this in a previous video, how adorable in this format. So here's the 8 by 10. With this one, I did something different. I could have easily made this completely out of cardstock, slapped some paper on there, and called it good. But I did this for you guys. The cover is clear with this pocket in the front, and kind of it looks like it's you know, in this cover, but it's not, of course. But the construction is always perfect. You, you're going to love this, all right? So I hope you love it. I know you will. It's just such a different take on this style, the file folder style, that I know you guys are going to love it. Here is the inside of that. You see that clear? Yep, you can definitely see that in the video. Four by six. Here is a pocket. You can put whatever you want in here. This paper collection is... Oh, this is also Heart and Hustle. Yep, this is also Heart and Hustle. And I keep on calling it all sorts of different things. Let me see. <clears throat> or Hustle and Heart. Let, let me get it right. Yep, Hustle and Heart. Hustle and Heart. All right, this is also the same paper collection I used in the previous one. Look at 8 by 10. How wonderful. 5 by 7. 4 by 6. All right, there's a 4 by 6 shot. There's lots of paper clips here because I wasn't sure if I was going to keep these photos in here or not. So I just paper clipped them so you guys can see what you can do with these as opposed to me having to regret it and then remove all the pictures. Look at this paper. How fun. So there's the 8 by 10. Yes, I love this cover. Love, love, love. And again, I show you how to make all of this and walk you through the process in the videos and in the tutorials for monographs. And over here is another picture. Look at how fun this oversized tab here. And this I made with a lot of paper collections are doing this, where you have to cut a bunch of things apart and you just sometimes you just don't know how to use it. A lot of these can be tabs. Doesn't matter the size. You can create a tab and look at how cute it looks. Really, really cute. All right. And I showed you that. And on this side, this here was my hubby's birthday. Where did these come from? Oh, these were in here. My hubby's birthday, I posted this meme, M-E-M-E, -E, to Facebook. And I loved it. So I went ahead and I printed it as a large 8x10 photo. And look how cute that looks there. All right, so just another memory, taking that digital world, bringing that digital world into what we love to do, which is play with paper, right? So there you go. You get, you combine the two worlds, the digital world and the tangible world, right? And then there's that pocket in there for the 8 by 10s And on the back of that 8 by 10 look at how cute. It's just adorable. These are two of my sisters. Well, three of my sisters. One, two, and three. Just beautiful. I love them so much. They're, they're, that's me and my hubby. And look at this. This is my sister-in-law and my great niece, my nephew, and my niece-in-law, I guess. I love these people. Love them all. Oh, there is my mom and two of my sisters. How cute. These embellishments, the embellishments that come that are come with the paper collection are so great. You're going to love them. They have uh, American Crafts did a really good job with their embellishments for their paper collections. They're different. It's not the same thing over and over and over. They are stepping it up and I love, I love that they're doing that. A lot of the paper collections need to make a note because it gets boring when you get paper collection after paper collection and it's the same embellishment template. Again, this is another meme that I posted for my husband for his birthday on Facebook and I saved the image and I printed that image onto a 4x6 photo and it's just super perfect. Again, telling the story right here. This is how I journal, guys. Here is my monograph, okay? 
and that's it. This, this, are, these are all the photos, and it's just so much fun to look at. Just so much fun to look at pictures in this format. And you know what? Let's just keep it real here, guys. Sometimes we make these things because this is our hobby. This is our our artistic outlet. These come together so quickly that you get instant gratification when you're putting these together. All right. Look at this face right here. This is the our youngest nephew in the family. This is Jaden and that's his mommy. And they're just so beautiful. And this was all the same, uh, the same event. And we just had such a good time that day that I was able to record everything in this one format. All right. And that's all I got for you for this video. For video number four, I'm going to show you how you put this all together in one place where it's contained and you can just put it on a bookshelf, on a coffee table, wherever you want. And you have all of these monographs or single stories recorded in this format and you don't have to worry about mini albums and all sorts of things and how everything is going to work together in one book. So again, guys, monographs, I'll link you down below to your purchase options. And I do have one more thing to tell you. I, Paper Phenomenon has... I have my own very own cardstock. It's called Maker Basics. I will link you down below. I have all sorts of different cardstock um, products that I know it's going to make your life a lot easier with your uh, paper crafting. So I hope you give me a, sh a chance and check out my shop and see what I got. So it's called Maker Basics. It's my core color collection and it is by me, Paper Phenomenon. And just a quick little hello. See you all in the next video.